Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Gio Perez. I'm the founder of GridOnAll.com, which is a recruiting service and also a rankings page that focuses primarily on junior college prospects. Um, the reason why I created this video today is to explain three different things that you can do to help you in the recruiting process and help you get more offers and uh, help you get more leads on different things that are going on in terms of the recruiting world. Um, three things you can do. First thing you can do is to be realistic, you have to be realistic when it comes to recruitment. You cannot expect something that might not happen. For example, the biggest thing that I get is when I work with guys is um, a lot of them expect to go D1. And that's I understand that's the goal for everybody. But the reality is very small. Some of prospects even have that caliber of talent. So you have to be realistic. And if you do have that talent, um, th then you go on to the second step, the Second thing that you can do to kind of help your recruiting process is to contact literally every school in the country. Although you want to really be good about how you go about contacting the schools. For example, you don't want to send an email that's too long. You don't want to send an email that's too short. You want What you want to send in an email is to send a nice short email. For example, I have a template right here to show you guys how you can go about it. It's to write about two to three sentences just introduce yourself briefly and right below that write your information and say thank you coach thank you for your time blah blah blah, blah. and all you have to do is change the the top if you just change the top uh, what i mean by coach brown coach smith just change the title of it you can kind of go and just send a, a massive amount of emails of that you want to contact as many people as possible um whether it's email and also through twitter um, in fact, if you go to our following list um, on cardano.com, you'll notice that 95% plus of the people we follow are just college coaches, which can kind of give you a good foundation to contact as many coaches as possible. Although you have to respect the fact that you, you'll end up contacting 100 coaches and maybe end up only getting five replies. Um, coaches get a lot of emails. I mean, it's, it's really crazy how many emails they get. So you have to respect that and you have to really humble yourself and be willing to just send out as many as you can. Um, the third thing that you can do in terms of your recruitment is really market yourself as much as possible. Uh, what I mean by market yourself is um, tweet your film out on Twitter, ask all your teammates, friends, friends of friends to retweet it. Um, for example, I've had multiple guys who I've worked with personally and I, I one of the biggest advice that I give them is have everybody retweet your film. Have your, <laughs> have your girlfriend, heck even your ex-girlfriend retweet your film. Have as many people as you can share your film because the more people see it, and we live in a small world, you know, uh, for example, your cousin's cousin's uncle could be a division one coach, could be an NAI coach. So you really want to get as much exposure as you can. And the way you go about it is by um, having your film and your bio really get shared as many times as possible. So those are the three things that you can do to help out your recruitment. I hope you guys are able to follow it. Um, if you guys need any more help, please feel free to 